so let's start with downloading where to download uh, OBS studio just head on to google.com and search for OBS studio and the first result should be obsproject.com we're going to open obsproject.com and there we have the options to download it on our Windows platform or Mac OS platform you can also head to download section here I've already downloaded uh, OBS Studio and I've already installed it in my system and open OBS Studio okay let's just uh, maximize this uh, OBS Studio so that we can better see a good view here so part one let's check the areas of the OBS Studio here so uh, there is this section called scenes sources the audio mixer and the controls on this side in this tutorial we're just going to discuss creating music live stream this is the real purpose of this tutorial so uh, let's just select the first scene here and we're going to add sources here so the first source you can add uh, let's just click the plus icon here and there's a lot of sources that you can add for music live streams let's discuss adding image slides show and we're going to add as well the media source here so in this setup we're going to start with the image slideshow okay let me just name it images once i click ok it's going to ask me uh, which image should i add i'll just scroll down here and click the plus icon here you have the option to select files and directories so i'm gonna select add directory here this is the directory and it only has eight images for example if you are a photographer and you want to uh, showcase all your photos in a slideshow you can use it so there you are we have this photo slide but it looks like it's a little cut so uh, what I'll do here is just right click somewhere here and look for transform and look for fit the screen so that it will uh, fit to my canvas here so let me click this fit the screen and boom it will fit to the screen it's a little shorter on the width as you can see there's a black area on the side okay we have the image slides show what we're going to do next is we're going to add the music or the audio for our music live stream so let's just click this plus icon again let's go to the media media source here so let's click media source and what we need here is music so just name it music let's just capitalize that click ok and it's going to pop up a new window to locate the file of that music or mp3 so it's a local file let's click browse let's go upwards here command up and I have some audio file here actually it's just a single audio file so it's uh, a loop so let's just open that and make sure that the loop checkbox here is checked so that the music will continuously loop uh, whenever it ends it will play again so let's just click OK here okay, okay there it is we have the images for the slide and as you can see the media source music is pumping up here that means it's feeding music now we have the image slideshow here and we have the music and we're ready to do a live stream and for example if you want to add further uh, sources here let's, we're going to add text slides here so for example let's look it for the text slides here uh, and let's just call this scrolling text okay 
I'm going to write here like uh, welcome let's just click OK and resize this text uh, to a bit smaller okay I think let's just right click here and transform this fit the screen for now I think that should be fine so let's just raise it up there and say something about it okay and let's lock this let's also lock all the others okay but it's not running so what should we do let's just right click this uh, text free scrolling text and let's add some filters here let's click filters I'm going to add a new filter here let's uh, look for the scroll filter and let's just call it scroll as usual and there it is and we're just going to do a horizontal scrolling here instead of vertical and let's just increase the speed to something that is uh, acceptable to our eyes not too fast okay it's sliding slowly now okay I think that should be fine and okay I think that should be okay so however some space are added here we need to add some space after the thank you for coming so let's just uh, we're down here let's just close this let's just edit our text and add some spacing here let's see if we can add some enter no. let's just add some space here you can see it's extending okay i think that should be fine click ok let's just unlock this and increase the text okay and for example if you want to add further things here like animated jib Let's just uh, go back to our sources here. Let's just click the plus icon again and let's just click image source here. Let's just name it animated jib. Click OK. And it's going to pop up another window and going to browse an image here. So let's, we are in the previous folder. Let's go up. Let's click images. And let's just click this dancing anime GIF and there it is we have a dancing anime somewhere here okay let's just unlock this and make her dance somewhere on this side here okay let's lock it and lastly I want to add a subscribe button so let's just go back to the images again and let's just call this subscribe button click OK and it's going to pop up again and ask us to browse our subscribe button okay so we have a subscribe button here I want for example I just want it somewhere here okay however it, it has this uh, annoying green background we're going to fix this in that in a bit by simply just right clicking on this uh, image click filters again and we're going to add a filter here which we call i think it's chrome key so let's just click chrome key here and let's just call we want to remove the green chroma here so let's just click okay and boom it's gone so we can close this and we can lock it as you can see we have the subscribe button somewhere up here and we have a dancing animated gif somewhere here okay i think we're cool here we're ready to go live and see if the music comes in okay i'll see you in the part two we're back so today we're going to discuss how to use OBS studio in your YouTube live stream so we need to do a setup in OBS 
to uh, at the same time we need to set up something in YouTube so let's just um, put this aside somewhere in the lower area here and let's just open our YouTube here okay I have a secondary account here for testing purposes uh, it's called white bunny guy with spaces in between words let me just click to create here and I want to go live okay let's just click go live here and it's going to ask a few things here let's click save and there you go our live stream is ready but it's waiting for the OBS software to send feed for this live stream so if we open this uh, share icon here and copy the link right now we don't have any thumbnails used so it's just uh, you can do it anyway you're a youtuber so let's just uh, paste our live stream here and it's going to say live stream is offline okay got it once we're ready it's going to stream it here but before that we need the connection from our OBS studio to YouTube so let's go back to our YouTube uh, dashboard live dashboard let's set this aside somewhere up there okay, this is our OBS software and this is our YouTube studio what OBS needs is this stream key okay as you can see the stream key looks like 15 random characters of letters and numbers copy and successfully copy the clipboard and we're going to paste it to our uh, OBS to just settings let's click settings here let's go to the stream make sure we change the service uh, from Twitch to YouTube RTMP so we chose now we're going to paste whatever stream key we copied from YouTube here. We paste it here. Okay, so let's just select OK here, and we're ready to go live. Anyway, uh, let's just separate this um, live dashboard from the live itself. Let's just drag it here separately let's just close this we've done with this already okay so we're ready to go live once we click the start streaming here it's going to send feed to the YouTube studio dashboard here and then it will send the streaming uh, feed to the public although it's unlisted sorry okay let's start streaming let's click this you can see that it's going to show you that you are live that's the first part and actually I'm already hearing a music okay it's sending the feed We're live. let me just mute that okay I, I'm not sure if the audio is being recorded here but um, can see that uh, it's live it's live this is a live this is a live streaming so let me just mute it because uh, I can hear the music that I'm playing so that's how you do live stream of uh, images for slideshow all right mm -hmm.